how to yell. Four score and seven years in the past, our ancestors brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty, and dedicated to the proposition that all pens are created equal. Now, them are some nice words by our bearded ancestor Abraham Nixon, and they may sound very nice, but of course they are absolute male bovine feces if you catch my drift. You know, as well as I do, that something is rotten in this country. And I'm not just talking about them microwave tacos that I recently had. No, I'm talking about something else. And you know what I'm talking about. This is a plague and they are everywhere. They're on the streets. They're at our work. They're everywhere. Hell, just this morning I was going to Old Jebediah's shop, you know, just around the corner at Main Street, and I was there with uh, Skippy Lou and Mary Jane and Bubba Joe, and all of them, they all saw it, I saw it, everyone saw it. They were right there. They were right there. They were on the counter of Old Zebediah's shop. Now, that's always been a, a shop of high standing. You know that. I know that. But they were there. Now, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They were there in broad daylight, and they were bald pawn pants. They were right there. Now, something is rotten because the numbers increase by the day. You know that. Now, you may ask, what did bullpoint pants ever do to me? Did they mug me? No, they did not mug you. Did they steal my car? No, they did not steal your car. But they are there. And that is enough. Because they are taking the place of nice, intelligent hard-working fountain pens. Yeah, pens you own, pens I own, are being replaced by ballpoint pens. Now, did you ever see a fountain pen loitering in the street? Not working on a weekday? I don't think so. But then ballpoint pens, they're doing, they're doing right there, just that. Okay, now, I know, I know that I feel that way, and I know that you feel that way, but nobody seems to be doing anything to solve the problem. Now, as far as I know, that's what my daddy told me. You're either part of the problem, or you're part of the solution, or you're part of the furniture. So what are you? Are you part of the furniture? I don't think so. You are like me. You are part of the solution. And that's exactly what I want to talk about today, because I have given this some thought, and I have decided after long dribble... After long dri after long dribble, well, I just gave it some thought, and then I decided that I should run for president of the United States of America. You heard that right. I am going to run for the White House, because this is a great country, but with me in the White House, it's going to be even greater. So... I have some great ideas on how to deal with this whole situation and I'm going to share them with you. You're going to be the first to hear about this from me. First of all, a difficult topic, Guantanamo Bay. We're going to have to close that down. Let's face it, it's not feasible to have an institution like that, but we're going to release all the prisoners and send them somewhere else. Now we got a lot of space in our hands. We're going to use that space. We're going to fill that up right to the brim with ballpoint pens. Oh yeah. All the ballpoint pens in the country you can find, you can scoop up. I don't care how you get them there. They're going to go there and you're going to be there for the rest of their lives. And that's all there's to it. There ain't going to be no torturing, but we will get rid of them pens. Secondly, concealed carry of fountain pens is going to be legal in all states. Why do we need that? We need that because if some bastard comes up at you with a ballpoint pen, I want you to be able to defend yourself. Defend yourself before he could even say, Bick, I want you to be able to draw your fountain pen from your shoulder holster or whatever, and defend yourself. That's every man's right. Then, all stationery shops in the country are going to be forced to carry noodless fountain pens. When I say forced, I don't really mean forced. I just mean we will give them a very polite but strong suggestion. Now, why noodlers? Because noodlers rocks. You know that, and I know that. These are cheap fountain pens, and they're going to make fountain pens available to all the people in the country. All right. Oh, yeah, then there was something about them taxes. Well, I, 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 I got to do something about the taxes. You've got to figure that one out, but that's not that important. Right. Now, it's very important that you understand that you should not ask what fountain pens can do for you. Ask what you can do for fountain pens because it's up to people like you and me to keep the whole fountain pen tradition alive. You know that. 
It's very important. So, if we don't do it, no one else will. And then, your children will grow up in a world of violence, in a world of ball pawn pants. Do you want that? Of course you don't want that. But there is a solution. And that solution is to vote for me when the time comes. And remember, when all your ink is spent, you want Stephen Brown as president. So, vote for me in the upcoming elections, and you ain't gonna regret that. And now, I'd like to close by uttering that prayer we all know so well. Please join me. Our fountain pen, who art in the pen pouch, hallowed be thy nib. Thy inkdom come, thy writing be done, as smoothly on earth as if it were in heaven. Give us this day our daily ink, and forgive us the occasional time we've used ballpoint pens, as we forgive those who have used ballpoint pens in our presence. And lead us not into railroading, but deliver us from ink stains. For thine is the inkdom, the converter, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Vote for me.